We welcome you to Ryan Field in Evanston, Illinois. The Michigan State Spartans, the Northwestern Wildcats, each squad looking for its first conference win of the season. It is gorgeous, especially down on the field, 50 degrees. Winds out of the uh, southwest at 10 miles per hour. And Northwestern kicks to Michigan State to start the ball game. DeMond Williams, Joel Howell's kick sails through the end zone. Williams does not have an opportunity. And so the Spartans will accept to the 20-yard line. Swenson, 32-yard field goal attempt. And it's good. Bechet. Herbert, first down. If you're Indiana and you're playing at Ohio State, you can't make mistakes like that. Bechet, open receiver. He's got him out of bounds. Ross Lane, the 42-yard line of Michigan State. Second down and goal to go from the five. Bechet under pressure. Touchdown! As he was being hit. Second down and eight. Bechet, touch pass over the top. Herbert broken up nicely, but pass interference called. Kendall Davis Clark on the coverage along with Travis Key. Bechet, the short drop to the sidelines and a nice catch and good footwork. Bechet going deep for Herbert. And a penalty marker down. Once again, they beat Travis Key. First and goal, they mark it just outside the two. Bechet option to the end zone for the touchdown. And he's just a sophomore. Option pass, Roberson, end zone, Herbert, touchdown, Northwestern. Northwestern received the ball at the beginning of the second half. After a Michigan State penalty, the Wildcats have the ball on their own 36-yard line. Start this drive at the 36-yard line. This wiped out. Gary Love's return. Quick throw over the middle. Tip to Peterman. Inside the 20. Peterman covered down out of bounds near the 12-yard line of Michigan State. Part of the game when you're backed up, what happens to your thought process now? To the end zone. Touchdown, Ross Lane. Drew Stanton first down. Going deep. Intercepted. Marquise Cole across the 50. To the 40. To the 30. To the 20. Cutting it back to the 10. He's down to the 9-yard line of Michigan State. To the last in the league or conference only behind Illinois, but they've gotten after it today. Touchdown. Cover. They beat Wiley with a perfect throw. Game plan coming in by Dave Baldwin, the offensive coordinator, was to run physically and hard at this Northwestern front and try to control this game. They have not gotten it done. And of course, the scoreboard dictates you're not going to run a whole lot now anyway. Stan decides to throw over the middle, and he's got his wide receiver, Jeremy Scott, the slot back. Five points at this point in time of the game. You have to get it from somewhere. To the sidelines, Reed forced out of bounds. Safety's deep. Stanton underneath. Jeremy Scott eludes a tackle attempt. Got the first down as he motors inside the 25 and is stacked up and driven back. Third down for Stanton. Keeps it alive. Got a man open. J.U. Coltrick. Touchdown. After a three and out by the home team, Michigan State takes over on their own 47-yard line. Underneath on the cross this time, it is caught. Scott. Fumbled out of bounds. It'll belong to Michigan State. Pass that was intercepted. Stanton rolling out. Threw it away. Wisely done. Second and ten coming That's up. Actually should be grounding because it did not. It, it might have been at the feet of the receiver because it didn't cross the line of scrimmage, Wayne. Well, you're right about that, and they're conferring about it. Intentional grounding. Number five on the offense. Yeah, I think.
think that's a good call by the official. Agree. Stanton. Reed leaping grab inside the five of the four yard line. Does he have enough time to get him back into the game? AJ Jimerson touchdown Michigan State. Four yard touchdown run. We pick up the action in the fourth quarter with Michigan State driving after an interception in the end zone. Just like this. Interception. Smith. Brendan Smith across the 30. Fumble the football. Penalty marker down. Looked like Northwestern got it back. It is fourth down. And now they send the punting unit on. Took their time in doing that, didn't they? Yeah, they did. And Michigan State has to hustle onto the field. They've come close to blocking the last two punts. Good point. Terry Love back deep. High snap. And they get the block. And they're going to get a touchdown. Ashton Henderson returns it for a touchdown. Devin Thomas, I believe, was the man who blocked it. Northwestern's last three possessions, two punts and a block punt. David Heron and then Jonal St. Deke Sutton alongside Bechet. And he throws it away. Herbert in motion. Bechet bobbled the snap. Going deep down the middle of the field, essentially threw it away. Slade Larshine from his end zone. His last punt was blocked. And he gets this one away. A line drive kick. Terry Love chasing it. Allows it to bounce out of bounds to the 40-yard line of Michigan State where the Spartans will put it in play. The question is, Michigan State still have enough time on the clock. Special teams got the Spartans back into this game with a touchdown off a block punt. Stanton has running room. First down and more, diving for the 46-yard line of Northwestern on a 14-yard run. First down. Diving grab, Terry Love. Innovate of the previous play, second and two. Stanton. Terry Reed could not keep his footing, otherwise he might have been able to turn to the end zone. Part of the 3-4 package Michigan State, or Northwestern has. Drew Stanton on the run, escape to the outside. He's to the end zone for the touchdown, and it's a ball game. I love it over here. I know. Bichette to Herbert. Overshot him. Good coverage down the sidelines. Sutton. Third down, a little bit less than two yards to go. Tyrell Sutton, the man in motion. Oh, they went with the tailback. Terrell Jordan and the Michigan State defensive front came to the four. Third straight three and out for the Northwestern offense that have been rolling through three quarters. High snap once again to Larshide. Gets his punt away. Terry Love comes up under it, makes the catch, cannot escape. And he's taken down by the best special teams coverage man, one of the best in the Big Ten, the freshman Sherrick McManus. Stanton took what the defense gave him. They're choosing to rush three with three down linemen and drop eight into coverage, and Stanton is killing them. Another crossing pattern. This one to the freshman. T.J. Williams out of bounds inside the 20-yard line to the 19. And the key play, a block punt. Return for a touchdown by the Spartans. Second down. Stanton underneath. Jimerson got a first down or very close to it to the 9-yard line of Northwestern. 11-yard gain. Four wide receivers set. Six-man rush. Stanton on the run. End zone. Got the freshman touchdown. TJ Williams. <laughs> Drew Stanton made that play with his feet, keeping that play alive. Marquise Cole couldn't cover long enough. 
and the freshman hung out and got one foot down in bounds. He hit the nail right on the head, Wayne. Stanton buying time with his feet, running around, banged up. Every joint in his body's hurting. He does enough to get his team in the end zone. All important point after. Ties the ball game. Wow. Wayne, you talked about it. There was nothing there. Great protection initially, and when it breaks down, if you have the ability to do just this, get outside, going to the freshman, T.J. Williams at the end. Great catch, great presence to get one foot down, and Stanton, the warrior on this football team who has tried so many times to get this program where it hasn't been in a long time. First down. Boucher off his back foot. Intercepted. Intercepted by Michigan State's Travis Key. First down Spartans at the Northwestern 30. Drew Stanton poised to send the Spartans into the lead. Jimerson picks his way. Good second effort. Inside the 30 to the 27-yard line, a gain of three. I would expect this to be either conservative pass or Stanton running the football. It is Stanton running the football. Good call. And a gain of another three yards down to the 23-yard line. Jimerson to the outside. Jimerson inside the 15. Forced out of bounds at the 10-yard line of Northwestern. Moss and Holmes. Jimerson. Jimerson again. Stacked up. He lost a yard back to the 10-yard line. Victory formation. Stanton drops to a knee. They're very confident that Brett Swenson can come on and win this game. Things tend to come full circle in this game. That Illinois last-second field goal was tremendously hard for this program, and now here they are, a chance to win a game miraculously that may change momentum in this program as a whole. 28-yard field goal, Brett Swenson out of the hole of Brandon Fields to get Michigan State the lead. Right through the uprights. It is good, and Michigan State has the lead with 13 seconds to go. The Spartans gotten up off the mat. They certainly were down on the mat, down 38 to three with a four game losing streak working. Boleski with a squib kick. Covered up for grabs and with six seconds to go, the ball bobbled and fumbled. Michigan State says they have it. The officials Remember the, the rule change right here. The ready for play signal is going to come quickly. And that's why the Wildcats are up to the line of scrimmage. Here we go. Final five seconds. And let's see that a hold up play. Timeout by Michigan State. I think a great use of the timeout. Because that rule, this, these are the situations where that time management rule has a big effect. The ready for play could be signaled, and Northwestern maybe didn't get a playoff, but Michigan State says let's regroup, make sure we have the right personnel on the field. Great use of the timeout. Does Garrett McGee have a uh, touchdown pass here in the bag? For the shade of call. Here it is. Penalty markers are down. Here comes the hook and ladder. Herbert, and they muffed it out of bounds. Penalty marker is down. Spartans think the game is over. And they're now waving everybody back in. The penalty marker down. Let's see what it's all about. Offside. Number 94 on the defense. That's a five-yard penalty from the previous spot. We will have it. I'm down. Pache, pressure. Gets it away. Incomplete. The 
Michigan State Spartans in one of the greatest comebacks in Michigan State football history. Rally from 38 to 3 down in the third quarter to win it at Northwestern 41 to 38. who has struggled mightily through a brutal schedule over the last four weeks. John L. Smith, who's been questioned at every turn. The Spartans find their soul in the third quarter at Northwestern and rally down the stretch to win. And on the other side, a devastating loss especially for number 18, the quarterback, C.J. Bechet, who for three quarters looks so good. 35 unanswered points by Michigan State. And Drew Stanton in his final game at Northwestern walks away a winner, 41-38. to 38. State wins it in Evanston.